tour of Bright. We're here in Russia, in Rosa Couture, which is the Alpine village for the 2014 Sochi Olympics. Uh, well, the village here is all new construction. Um, on the way up, there's just constant construction. There's a lot of work that needs to be done still, but uh, a lot of work that has already been done in preparation for the Olympic Games. And um, it's kind of just a private little community up here. We're in like this very isolated village and um, just lots of hotels and a couple restaurants to wander about with uh, a nice river running through it. There's about 40 miles of construction, constant construction. <laughs> um, but I guess my, I don't know, my first impressions of this area is it's awesome. They're going to be able to hold a, a really incredible games. Everything is new. It's kind of like Disneyland. I kind of feel like I'm in Disneyland a little bit. Um, I feel like everything was built very quick. I guess I was here in a lot of these hotels weren't even up at all in October and now they've got a whole entire village going on here so it's a totally different world this village that we're in right now didn't exist um, they're digging out the river right now just I mean the whole thing it's a bit bizarre it feels like they've built everything from new um, and the construction from the airport to here it's it's just it's amazing what's going on um, and a lot of it feels a little bit um, excessive. It does. The skiing train is actually really sick. If you take all three gondolas to the top, it's like nothing's marked off. There's some gnarly lines and you could just get so broke off. The cliffs are insane. I don't even know. I'm, I'm like scared to get off there. The terrain on the mountain here looks absolutely incredible. There's some of the most impressive mountains that I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'd love to be here with plow skis and a couple feet of new snow. Um, and the half pipe is coming together. It's definitely a work in progress, but that's why we're doing this test event to make sure we're going to be ready a year from now. It's a bit of a bummer that it's supposed to be a test event, but it's not actually being run like the Olympics, which is the whole point, is for us to come out here and, and do a test event. and, and this, um, from what I've heard, there's a different person cutting the half pipe. They're using a different machine than they're supposed to use next year. Um, and the schedule is different. I mean, at the Olympics, they're running men first all in one day and then women all in one day. Um, and so I think that there's a few mishaps going on. X Games every year proves to be one of the most progressive events of the season and it's because they've got it dialed down to a science. They've got Buttermilk Mountain for a full month, they have their terrain, they work on it, they have it sitting there for a month before the event and they, they buff it out every single day with the world's best guys out there, SPT. And for the Olympics, to me it seems they don't, they don't have the preparation that they need to pull off the world's biggest event. Um, so I, I think that could be changed. I think that we, we could go into this and say, we want to show the world what snowboarding is capable of. We want to show the world the best show and have it be the most progressive event. But we can't do that unless the, the hat, they give us the half pipe that we need. I feel like maybe after a Vancouver Olympics they could have realized could go a little higher in elevation to help the, the Olympics. I for one don't want another Vancouver show because Vancouver even for the the people who won who podiumed that was not their best riding. It could be a really sweet pipe but um, considering it's supposed to be a, an Olympic half pipe like the actual one that it'll be next year. I, I I don't know. I guess I guess you would expect to be the best pipe in the world.